This place born in 1980. This was the first place in the world to be a cigar store exclusively with cigars, handmade, high selection. And all started in 1980, and that's how, how we, the store was not like this in the beginning, um, was a bit more old fashioned and so on. So now we give it, as second generation, we give it a a line which is more open, more wide, more light and thing because we like it also like this and I think people like it like this but th the philosophy of this shop was always to have the selection of cigars handmade and, and that's all. Tell us about the profile of the customers, who are the customers that come to you? Uh, Every, every, every kind of profile. You have the people who are smoking their first cigar in their life. You have the people who smoke cigars during those last 30 years. Uh, you have people who want to try sometimes. You have uh, people who love to taste some different cigars. And every time when they came, they change, they move, they try something else. And you have people which are really uh, uh, going to uh, only some specific cigars for a specific moment in time. That, that's why it's very difficult. You, the, this profile was more narrow maybe 15, 20 years ago. But today it's like in the wine uh, or it's like in the food. It's become open, very wide open. That's why also uh, because the situation, I would say, of the wide taste, uh, we start to create about 20 years ago our, our selection. And, and the gimmick was not to make a cigar only to have our name on a cigar. This was not, uh, was really to do something that could compl like a complementary of what something was existing already. And, and my wish was to work like a cook for the blending and like an architect for the construction of the cigar. Because for me, cigars is the wedding of those two things. Wedding of the blending, who's gonna give the aim of the cigars, the taste of the cigars, but also which will give you all the taste and the aroma will be done by a very good construction. And when I'm talking architecture of the cigar, that's the construction. And when you make the wedding of those two things, in this case, you create really the aim of the cigar and the magic of the cigar. This half robusto has been created in 2003. And we saw after this, all the major brands coming also with the half robusto. What we can see, it's this really shows you how the society of the cigars is looking for sizes, is looking for taste, you know, and we have to follow. If we take, let's go, we go back in the 1940s. 1940s, producer used to produce cigars and tell you, this is what I produce. You like it, you buy it, you don't like it, you leave it. Today, you cannot do it like this. You have to see what the, pro or today the consumer is looking and follow this idea. This is max. But also that's make what the taste is become magic. <laughs> the trail for the service of the cigars <coughs> is a bit special because we saw that mainly when we go in a bar in a restaurant, unfortunately, uh, people they know, never know really how to prepare a really well cigar, even if some schools are preparing the children and the students to how to cut the cigar and prepare the cigars. I think one of the major things is we forget that the cigar smokers love to prepare their cigars themselves. That's why we create this trail of cigars where you can bring directly on the table and like you can see you have everything. Cigar is ready here, cutters, matches, even here your cup of tea of coffee or your glass of whiskey or your glass of champagne and you leave this face to the consumer and he will take the time to cut how he like to cut his cigars, to light his cigars how he wish to light his cigars and to have really the pleasure of taking care of his cigars. Don't forget that behind every cigars lovers 
they take care of their cigars like they take care of their children sometimes. They like to take their time and they like, and this is a big part of their happiness.